All right, it's not clickbait. I swear down. A few weeks ago, I learned that this mod was getting prepared for consoles. Whether or not that's still going to be the case, I cannot confirm nor deny that. But regardless, I think it's a great mod and it's worth taking a look at. And that's what we're going to do. I'm going to put a link in the description of the actual truck if anyone's interested in looking at that. It's an off-road truck designed by Zidon. And let's jump in the garage and have a look at the customizations available for it. So starting off on engines, as you could see, the engines it uses are the years of. So what I reckon he did, he just copied the same files for the ASOV in there. And you've got to go through the game's progression to unlock the engines. Same for the transmission. It literally has the same gearboxes as the ASOV. So you got the special and the advanced special. And for the suspension as well, we've got stock and raised. For the tires, we've got all the tires from the base game. However, there's been two custom tires added. So there's nothing new here. Let's just go down to the custom tires. So this is the first one, it's a 51 inch and apparently this is the actual tire that the truck, the real truck uses. And then lower down here we've got the 54 inch. So you could use that one once you've raised the suspension. And we've got a couple more. I think that's the uh, Cats and the Tega tires as well. And then we've got two for the, we've got two chain tires. For the winch, nothing new here, it's just the same as the base game. I kind of like that because it means that the, this mod is not going to be OP. For the add-ons, we've got all of the same add-ons again, except there's been a new, I think it's called a flatbed. Yeah, this one. So that's the, the custom flatbed for this truck. And then we've got the two saddles at the bottom. Uh, let's just stick uh, this on. For the snorkel, it's got a weird place for the snorkel, but yeah, it does the job anyway. And over in the visuals, we've got all the attachments that all the other trucks uses at the top, so nothing new here. For the front bumper, I'm not sure if this bumper is a custom one or a base game one, but regardless, we've got those. And for the rims, you can't change the rims once you've got the custom tires on, however, if you've got one of the base uh, game tires, you can't, so let me just show you that right now. So once you've got one of the base game tires, you can go ahead and then you've got a selection of uh, rims to choose from. You even get the cat rims as well. For the colors, just five custom textures. It's got that old look, oh, popping yellow. And the rest, uh, you've got the digital camo and the navy camo. Follows the rest of the color palette, but it's got like a, I don't know, shiny metallic tone to all of the colors. The two-tone colors, I don't see any two tones in there, but it is what it is, ooh, pink. Let's just uh, stick that one on. There's no customizations. Yep. So let's have a look at the inside. We've got a nice interior. The gauges work. This mirror is weird. It shows the lower left side of the truck. And the other one works fine. And this is what the interior looks like. Pretty basic. Apparently the sound of the truck is the actual genuine sound of the original truck. Yeah, it doesn't sound like anything I've heard in the game, so it sounds unique. Let's go over to the trailer park and have a look at the trailers we could attach to this. So all the base game trailers are available. Uh, ignore this, this is a mod. So just pretty standard trailers. First off, I've had a few hours of gameplay with it. And it feels and handles just like the of. It feels firm, it's slow, and it's quite stable. 
Let's jump back to the other truck and um, get some load on it. I like the way the race suspension cambers the wheels. And when you apply load to it, it just sits on the suspension. Let's have a look at that. Let's get the concrete slabs on. Look at that. It just absorbs the load. I kind of like that. Alright, let's go do some off-roading. And I'll show you guys how this performs. So it's not fast at all. Obviously, I've got the weaker engine on there and uh, the stock gearbox, but let's have a look at the map. Alright, so my plan is to go down this hill, across the river, we get a chance to get the wheels wet, come across here and come up this hill. And ultimately, I'm making my way over to uh, Island Lake. So this mod, as I said before, is very comparable to the other, but the only difference is, I think it's got more ground clearance, so off-road, it's a beast. Let's take it slow down now. I like, I, I really love the sound. I'm playing on a PC with my Xbox controller and I can generally feel the weight of the truck in the controller. It feels heavy, it feels strong. Oh, we've got the river coming up. Let's get across that. Not as deep as I thought. And we're going to have to... Let's get in some deeper water. over here. So this is what I want to show you guys. As long as the intake is above the water, you're fine. Let's just switch into low. The detailing on this is just good. Let's hear the horn. Again, I think it's a unique sound. I don't know, but I haven't heard that in the game before. The details on here is just spot on. Oh, where did that tree come from? Wasn't here earlier. It's a slow crawler though. You're not gonna get anywhere fast with it. I'm trying to drive in higher range right now. Build up some speed. I've got the west zone over there. I'll get that later. Let me just take this moment to thank the people that have subscribed to my channel. Um, I'm happy to share my gameplay. I love SnowRunner. It's a really great game. 
uh, the Facebook groups and the PlayStation groups are really fun. I really enjoy what's being shared on there and the community spirit and all that. So thank you. Hopefully as my channel grows, I can have more content to share. Um, I do design engineering. I can actually create mods. It's just time consuming and I've got a full time job right now and I don't really have the time to. Maybe in the future I will because I've got some vehicles in mind that I would like to see in SnowRunner. Alright, we're coming up to the river again. This time let's try to get in some deeper water. I don't know, there might be a scenario where you need to get across and the only route is the river. That's not bad, is it? Look at that. As long as you keep that intake up, it's a submarine. Beautiful. As I said, I've been using this for about two hours now. I've done several missions with it and I, I really like it. Alright, we're coming up to a hill now. Let's have a look at the map. Alright, the plan is to get up here. And I think that's going to give us a chance to test the power of the engine. Bearing in mind, this is a stock Azov. Everyone should know what that feels like if you've uh, played through the entire game. Yep, it's climbing. I reckon with the fully upgraded engine, we should be able to pull a loaded trailer as well on a hill like that. Slowing down. I can genuinely feel the struggle in the controller. Oh, I think she's had enough. Let's try again. Nah, she's not having it. We're gonna have to winch. We're almost at the top. The rest of the drive is going to be pretty boring. So I'm just going to cut to another truck I've got on the map. I'm going to show you another scenario where I've been using this truck. Let's go over here. So this one, I've got it set up with a, a maintenance module. And I think this is the cut wheels on there, I'm not sure. But it's the, it's the mud tires anyway. And this is a swampy route heading towards Island Lake. This is a scenario where I think a lot of players would use this truck. Obviously in the coming update, we're going to have the feature where you could fix vehicles to trailers. And I think everyone is going to be going for that. You want to move loads of trucks to a new map. That's the way to do it. So the one at the front is the same setup, except the wheels are the custom wheels. So it's excellent in the mud and off-road. And we're moving along with no problems. It is slow obviously, but there's no need to winch. I reckon if it's set up with the higher range gearbox and the most powerful engine, I think that's where it's going to be best suited for performance. Back in the river, as you saw, you can get it up to the roof in water, so a swamp is going to be nothing for it. We've got low range, 8x8, diff locks on, it's unstoppable.
trying to get some more speed with high range. This truck is alright, as long as you don't mind the slow gameplay. So the tank has 500 liters. The average draw is about seven and a half liters. So you're looking at you're looking at almost an hour of driving before needing to refuel. It's not the fastest truck, but the handling and feel is superb. So we're headed over to Island Lake as we make our way through the swamp. If you guys have driven here before, you should know what's coming. It's just this length of uh, wet route all the way through to the tunnel entrance. So I'm going to skip ahead into Island Lake. Alright, I'm here in Island Lake. This is my first entrance into this map. As you can see, I haven't unlocked any towers yet. But I know that the trailer store is over on the left. So I'm just going to make my way over there. And start setting up my fleet for doing missions on this map. This is pretty much how I approach new maps. I get a bunch of vehicles over. I pack them up somewhere. And then I head out and start tackling all the missions. This truck is just beautiful to drive. It's just beautiful. So I'm gonna make my way over to the trailer park. It's over here on the left and I'm gonna jump into the other truck. I've reached out to the motor and he's keeping quiet. My guess is they're not allowed to tell us what's coming to consoles. But when this was initially uploaded to mod.io He did say it was getting designed for consoles Models with low polygon counts are easier to render So that's better optimized for the PlayStation and Xbox So the trailer pack is over on our left I'm just gonna pack the trucks up and close this uh, review So here we are at the trailer store in Island Lake, Michigan. Thank you, Zaiden. This mod truck right here is perfect. It's really fun to drive. It sounds good. It looks great. I do get an ease of feeling when I'm driving, but I feel it's a bit better than the ease of because it has a higher ground clearance. I also love the fact that you have to unlock upgrades for it as you progress through the game. I tried to pick faults on this mod. I really couldn't find any. Only minor thing, which probably isn't a big deal, is you can't fit a small crane to it and you can't carry a spear wheel either. Apart from that, it's a really decent mod and you guys will be happy if this comes to console. As I said before, I can't confirm nor deny, but initially it was said that this was coming to console. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.